from the Hawks Bay and Dad's from Mull too. And uh, we thought we'd come down here for Dad's uh, 65th birthday and get a few deer. Yep, that's pretty much how it is. I'm from um, Levin down that way, it's wrong here at the moment. Uh, I work for Fonterra, pick up the farmer's milk and been hunting off and on for various things for the last 50 years, but this is something different. Sweet, so how long has it been since you shot a deer, Dave? No, oh, you're Dave, Rob, eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rob. Rob. Um, <laughs> probably about 10 years. 10 years. <laughs> yeah. no, sweet as, mate. So hopefully we can um, come up with the goods for you. I'm quietly confident we can. Yeah. So um, weather is fantastic. I've got to, couldn't ask for anything better, really, with the weather-wise. So yeah, we're just about to head out the door, and we'll see if we can um, find a couple of deer, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. So we've got uh, one night to come up. These guys are quite keen to take four deer, so we've got two hunts to get four deer and I'm quite confident we should be able to do the damage but we'll find out shortly. Okay. Sweet, yep. awesome, let's get into it. Right, we've got to where we're going to start from, up on the hill. We've already spotted a couple of deer, two spikers, a white one and a black one up there, so they're pretty safe today. I'm just going to sneak over the ground and hopefully something in the gully. That noise you can hear is that idiot. Went high. Blake, get him behind. You went high, mate. No, nah, you went high too. That got him. Might have went a bit low. Just get that one another one. Meh. At least you got one anyway, mate. The um the gun the finish the last thing we're gonna do, Ah, he's a good, good, good shot on that first one. Good oh, stuff, Rob. First deer in 10 years. Yep. Just like that. Yep. <laughs> Joel and Dave are just going to sneak around over. Over here, there's um, some deer just popped out over. Over there. So we're going to just sneak over to them. See if we can get one of those. Shut up, Blake. And you and Rob are going to sneak down and we'll just go. Deer that's here. Blake. Blake's keen as again and um, we'll go and recover your deer by the time we get back up here. Hopefully those boys have shot a deer and we'll go and pick them up. So we can go and find another couple if we can. Let's go. 
Oh, yeah. He just loves the water. Ten years? Yep. That was the first fellow for a while. Um, good shoulder shot from a little range, so yep, one shot, got it. Okay. Right. Thank you. Fantastic. Nice and nice and quick. Just walked up to the top of the hill there and they're right where they're supposed to be, so. We're going to whip the guts out of this and I'll just carry it back up the hill for Rob and the other boys are shot round, shot round over, shot round over behind us to have a look for another one. So by the time we get to the top, hopefully they've uh, got onto something. Alright, sort this one out, eh? Right, just going to get the feel on the back and whip it up the hill. spotted um, Dave's deer from that first mob of deer that we had that little bomb up on. Um, we thought he clipped it underneath, went a bit low and he did hit it. So it's lying over there feeling pretty sorry for itself. Dave's just shot down the hill and he's going to go and finish it off and um, carry it back up over this side. So <coughs> we've got one more to get then. So that's three deer down basically. Pretty sure that one there's a give me hopefully. Shouldn't have cursed it like that but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so I'll take Rob over onto this next ridge and hopefully we can get another deer and we've got the job done tonight. Unfortunately about mooning them, but um, that's just what happens sometimes, but at least we found it and we're going to put it out of his misery. Little spike out there, he's safe from us though. Looks like he's got a bit of potential, looks a bit skinny on it too, he's probably been uh, just recovering from the raw I imagine. Mate's pretty keen on getting them though. Silly little bugger. Use this uh, uh. Anyone would think he's got a death wish. <laughs> so <Sorry. laughs> that's looking quite promising um, there's a few deer over here is a little more um a bachelor group of bucks down here, so we'll go and have a look at those. And uh, there's some more deer down further as well, so we should better pick up another one for you. We'll try and pick out a nice fat one. This one's a nice little yearling, but we'll try and get one a bit more size. That spike is still standing, he's only 50 metres away watching us. <laughs> Silly little bugger. He's got a bit of potential though. Yeah. Good 
shot. Get in behind, mate. Yep. yep, you got it. Another one. Get him behind, Blake. Get him behind. There she goes. No, that's good. The track's just there. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fantastic. Nice shooting, mate. Right. Good shit. Give it here. I'll buy this gun off. <laughs> this hunt is better than my own. <laughs> that's your quota, isn't it? Yep, that's it. Brilliant. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's at least ten there. At least ten there. And see if we're up on the ridge there. 14 and that little steep on that side of the hill. Nice. Oh well, Rob. Second one. That's number two. Nice. It's better than the other one, but. Yeah, this one's in beautiful condition. Yeah, easy, She's really. To get to the bike. <laughs> yeah, just roll it straight down the hill. 115 metres, as you would have seen on the video. And uh, yeah, Rob just can't come down the hill and just rolled her twice down the hill and she landed straight on the track. So that's how we like it. Nice and easy. And uh, Dave's just gone and recovered his one that he wounded before. So he's got two. Rob's got two. The boys came here to get four deer and we've got four deer on the first night. So bloody awesome. Fantastic. We can go back and have a beer now. Job well done. Awesome mate, nice shooting. Cool. Right, Joel, do you want to give us a bit of an update? How'd you fellas get on over there? Uh, so Daddy went down to the bottom of the creek and then finished off the one that uh, he wounded, but he got him in the end and pulled off a nice headshot. And then I waited up on the top of the hill and he walked straight back up to me and, and we went back round here when you guys and just seen this deer sitting on top of the hill there. While you guys were coming back up in the hill, still feeding. Yeah, okay, so yeah. we just it got the bike a little bit stuck down the bottom there, but we managed to get it out. But no, the boys come here for four deer, and four deer they've got. Nice and easy. What do you fellas reckon? Yep. Yeah, well done, brilliant. That's good afternoon shoot. Yep, and all done before dark. <laughs> How was that? Pitch dark anyway. How was that carry, Dave? Oh, a bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I wasn't going back up through that gully. <laughs> Lucky it was a smaller deer. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a good good perfect size to carry. Yeah, yeah, no, it sure was. But um, no, she was a bit of a drop off into that buddy um that yeah. creek down there and I thought, well I'm not coming back up here with a deer, I'm no. gonna go follow it around where we shot them first. Oh did you come up back up there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. well yeah. 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 where you shot the first one. Yeah. Rob actually said that, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know the, what creek looked like down there though, yeah. so yeah. I've no, been I've, I've been down in that creek before and it wasn't too bad, but I might have picked the right spot. She was about a three minute drop and I was like, I found another way and come back up and climb back up the hill but it's tough going, well, I'm not coming back down here. <laughs> From where I was standing, it looked pretty easy. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saves the person who just had to walk up this little rise up here. Yeah. <laughs> and he killed me. I, I didn't think we were coming back up actually. I no. thought, oh fuck, we're going to have to leave the fucking bike there. But well, I heard a revving, I thought, oh, geez, what's going on down there? Those boys are stuck. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit greasy. Then no. the fellas come rest here. <laughs> no, the, the new 500, mate, that, um, I just put the diff lock on there and put it into second and just gave it death. and. She got up there, piece of piss. Oh, yeah. No, awesome. Well, we'll get back and have a beer and a feed, eh? Great hunt um, last evening, um, three or four hours, and we got four deer. Um, brilliant, absolutely magic. Yep. Yes, yep. highly recommended. Yep, now we've got our four deer overnight, and uh, we didn't have to get up early in the frost this morning and had a uh, bit of a sleep in and um, had a few beers last night and good feed this morning and last night. And um, yeah, good, good bloody yarn. And, uh, uh, highly recommended for anyone that wants to come down here for a hunt. Old Clayton, give him a call. Awesome mate, thanks very much for that. And once again, a couple of good buggers, fellow hunters and stuff like that. So uh, it's good having a bit of a yak there last night, this morning about all the world's problems and stuff. I think we've got them mostly sorted. Um, they should actually make us fucking politicians, really. I think we'd probably sort most of the shit out, wouldn't <laughs> <Yeah>. we? Lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, but like, like you said, it was pretty short and sweet, but we got the job done pretty quickly last night. And... Uh, yeah, we got to sleep in a little bit this morning so that's the end of this video thanks again for watching once again and uh if you like this content please make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video cheers cheers guys